the business environment. Um, I think most of all, what the whole day reminded me of was that all of the groups that the Romanian Diversity Chamber of Commerce ha has initially decided to support, which is women, persons with disabilities, Roma, LGBT+, um, share a lot of the same challenges. And it's why we founded the chamber less than two years ago. We're a year and a half old, really. Um, and uh, I think uh, it's great that we have this very first event here uh, where we bring all the groups together. The, the chamber has done a number of separate events uh, for, for different segments, but this is the first where we, we've done, done uh, you know, one for all and our first major live event as well. So I really encourage all of you who are not members to consider joining. Uh, you can write to, to me or Lestat or Andrea. Uh, I'd love to have you as members uh, and explore how we can kind of improve the, uh, improve the, uh, the situation in Romania, but also in the region. Uh, for for uh, persons who have been uh, traditionally economically marginalized. Yeah. Um, last thing I want to say, which it kind of came to mind watching uh, this United States Supreme Court decision, uh, basically allowing the states to tell women that they they are not able to make their own decisions for the bodies for nine months, uh, which is essentially the decision. I just it, it brought to mind uh, one of my professors from from law school, Lewis Henkin, who was one of the fathers, one of the parents, I should say, of modern international human rights. He was one of the authors of the, the um, International Covenant on Political and Civil Rights that was signed, I think, in late 40s, 1948, perhaps, after World War II, when everybody realized we had to learn a lesson and do something differently. Um, and he, he introduced the class to this, to this poem that was uh, composed by a German pastor named uh, Martin Niemöller. Some of you may have heard of him. He was a pastor, um, and after World War II, uh, he kind of looked back and, and realized what had happened very gradually over the years when nobody raised their hand to stop what was happening. And I'm going to paraphrase it into a little bit different poem, um, and I don't mean to, to sound sappy or sentimental, but I really kind of, the past few months have, have really kind of affected me in terms of, of how I perceive where we are in civil rights and human rights. Um, First they came for the Roma, and I did not speak out because I was not a Roma. Then they came for the LGBT+, and I did not speak out because I was neither L, nor G, nor B, nor T, nor plus. Then they came for the people with the disabilities, and I did not speak out because I had no disabilities. Then they came for the women, which they've done recently, and I did not speak out because I'm a man. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak out for me.